I would like to tell you about a few things that I've been involved in with regard to educating some of my contemporaries. I'm living in a retirement community in Silver Spring, Maryland, and there are a lot of very bright people here, but many of them have not been exposed to computers or not very much. So one of the things that I've been doing is an in-house channel, in-house television program pertaining to computers. And we've run a number of interesting programs, and I'd just like to mention a few of them. Uh, we had one which dealt with vocabulary, in which myself and a couple of other people were discussing words that the viewers might not be too familiar with. They might know what a hard drive is, but uh, they might not know what a, a floppy disk is, or even a um, any of the other more modern pieces of equipment, such as the so-called sticks. So we've been running a monthly television program for quite a while now. One of the topics had to do with vocabulary. Another one had somebody demonstrating Word, and we talked about a number of things pertaining to things that you could do on Word, in particular tables, which seems to be something many people are not familiar with. And we're having a program on Excel, where somebody is demonstrating the activities that you can do with Excel, which go beyond numerics. I've served for three years as president of the Computer Club, and in that capacity, s emphasized these monthly programs that we had, and wanted to start the computer, wanted to start the television programs, but couldn't until my term as president ended. Enough is enough, and so. There are lots of activities going on, even in a retirement community, for seniors who want to learn something about computers and have not had much opportunity up until then. And I've enjoyed being able to help many of them in learning how to use a computer.